Okay, local time, 3.54 a.m. I'm on my way to Cape Canaveral to cover the launch of the first of the AEHF satellites. It's very early, I'm very tired, but I'm on my way. If uh, you find out that on the way back that it's scrubbed and you see footage of me putting my foot to the dash of this car, I hope you'll understand. Jason Ryan, Space Vidcasts, Roving KSC Reporter. Talk to you later. Alright, well, after stop at my local Circle K, I am now one sausage, egg and cheese, tornado, and a bag of Sweet 16 powdered donuts happier. And I'm about ready to make the first John on this lovely voyage. Well, we've just had our briefing from the Air Force uh, PAO, and uh, this is kind of a new event for me. Uh, this is an Air Force launch, and you can see that you have a lead vehicle led by our uh, the SPO I mentioned, and then we have to follow him in a convoy, basically out to the press site where we normally just drive in when the shuttle launches. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but a couple of those trucks up ahead are sat trucks. Most of them are just reporters in their privately owned vehicles, including yours truly. And behind me is a tail vehicle, which is uh, the PAO's uh, helpers I guess. So we're heading out to the press site and hopefully we'll be there soon and uh, get ready to see a launch. So we're really excited about this launch today. The advanced EHF system is going to provide 10 times the capacity of the legacy Millstar system and five times the data rate to individual users. That's the equivalent of taking an old dial-up modem and replacing it with a modern blazing fast broadband connection. And Atlas V launches from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, carrying the Air Force's first AEHF satellite into orbit. It went perfect. It was totally successful launch as we expected. The Atlas rocket always always takes uh, off on time. And uh, what can I tell you? You guys just witnessed how successful it was, and we are very excited about this launch. Beautiful launch this morning, early morning. But the AEHF-1 satellite is on its way to orbit. We've heard it had good fairing separation, which was a concern early on. No problems, no worries. Go Air Force.